Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this Cinema 4D quick tip, I wanted to talk about a workflow improvement that might be able to help you out. So let's get straight into it. I've got a scene here, it's pretty simple, I've just got a sky object and some animated text, and uh, this is what it does. It's very short, it's only a second, and uh, I'm not really going to talk about this too much because it's not really about the scene itself. It's about relative paths. So let's have a look at this. Uh, I'm going to open up my render settings. And uh, I'm just rendering the physical. Again, none of these settings really matter. What we're interested in is this path here. So if I open up the folder that I'm saving this to, uh, I've got a folder on my desktop called Test. You can see that here. And inside that folder, I've got uh, a folder called One, Cinema 4D Files. And that's where this scene file is saved. And I've got two Cinema 4D renders. So if we go back to our render settings, you can see that I'm saving to that second folder, um, you know, users, uh, my username, desktop test, you know, the test folder, and inside that, this is our two C4D renders. And the render itself is gonna be un uh, test underscore. So there we go, it's being saved in here. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. And obviously if I render now, it will save all of those renders into that uh, C4D renders folder. And if I look in there, you can see there's my image uh, sequence output. But, and this is where relative paths come into play. If I was to ha hand this scene file off to someone else, say a client or another machine, then this path in the render settings is gonna cause some problems. So let's pretend actually that this uh, came from another machine. So it might be, I don't know, C users. And um, if the user on that other machine was called digital meat, let's say, there we go. Uh, and then desktop test and all the rest of it. If I was to go and try and render this now, I'd get this error saying files cannot be written. Please check output path. Um, so obviously if I was to hand this scene off to a client or another, um, put it on another machine or something like that, this is going to cause problems. Now there is actually a way around this and this is what I wanted to show you about relative paths. We can actually negate all of this information at the, at the front here. So uh, if I wanted this to be inside my test folder, let's say, I could take off this entire front piece here and just have the dash test to blah, 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 and leave all the rest of it, and actually just place a dot there. And in fact, I'm gonna open up my um, test folder again and get rid of these, uh, get rid of the renders inside here. So what you'd think would be happening would be, okay, so will it create the renders at test, um, you know, in the renders folder, and then, you know, call it under, under test underscore. So what you'd be expecting is for them to still appear here maybe well let, let's try this now we've got the dot in front of everything let's give this a go okay that's done now so if we uh, go back to our folder we can see in our c4d renders there's nothing there so let's have a look in here and now you can see there's a folder called test and if we look in there there's a folder called c4d renders and if we look in there we've got our renders in there so what it's done is actually created a folder called test inside where our scene file has actually been saved. And that is exactly what should be happening because when you put a dot there, what that dot signifies is it tells Cinema 4D, I want you to create these renders at the scene files location under this structure. So where the scene file is located, it will create test two dot c4d renders and then call all the renders test underscore so that may be not what we want really um, we don't want this to be created in this folder with our scene file we actually wanted it to be here well there's a way we can do that as well so let's go into our um, c4d files and get rid of this test folder again go back to our render settings and the way we can do this is actually we can get rid of this test folder because uh, we don't need that. We're, we're already pointing towards 
the test folder because um, it's saved at the location. So let's get rid of that. So now we've just got two dot C4 day renders and then the name of the render and with this dot. And um, if you're thinking, well, surely that's just going to create this folder at the scene location, you'd be completely correct. So that's not what we want either. But what we can do is put a second dot. So now it's dot dot. And what this actually does is it that is telling Cinema 4D, what I want you to do is go up one level from the location of the Cinema 4D scene file. So if we go back to our folder, instead of putting it in with our scene file here, it's actually saying we'll go up a level. And if I go up a level, that's actually here. So this is where it's going to save. Uh, it's at this level is where it's going to save our renders. So let's have a look how we got this set out. Well, it's going to create a folder called 2.c4d renders, but it's not going to actually create a new one of these because it already exists. And because it already exists, it's going to, you know, save our renders to there. So let's, uh, so let's test that theory. We've got our two dots in there now. And uh, we'll close this for now. And close that as well. And we'll go again. Okay, so that's done now. So let's go back to our folder. And as you can see, we've got, we've still got the same structure we had before. And if we look in our C4D renders, you'll see that that's where my renders have now been put. So if we now save our scene file with this um, structure in our render, like this, there is now no reason for us to have a full uh, file path. And if I was to hand over um, my test folder to someone else and they hit the render button, it would just render and those renders would go to this folder that are with the uh, scene file. Um, there'd be no confusion. You'd get no error message pop up and say, oh, I can't find the file, uh, the path, um, the file path or any of that. Um, so that makes it super easy to hand over to clients and other machines. Something else to note as well, this doesn't just apply in the render settings. Anywhere there's a file path, this relative pathing can be applied. So that includes um, paths in materials and um, anywhere else in Cinema 4D that you can find a path. Anyway, guys, I hope you found that helpful and uh, I'll see you next time. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can follow me on social media at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. And make sure to visit me at digitalmeet.uk where you can vote for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.